You guys want to hear something insane? In just 16 months, I built a $2.1 million life insurance business for my studio apartment, moved across the United States. Nearly three days, I drove from Maryland to Arizona to pursue what we called this business idea. I pulled off something I never thought was possible, and I want to share with you guys how I did it. But first, let me give you some evidence of maybe why you should even listen to me. Because you may be like, why should I even listen to this random guy? So let's jump in, baby. I went from an idea to generating over $2.1 million in sales. Here's some real evidence. In just 16 months, I went from zero sales in this business idea to 2,715 sales. But there's more. I also learned how to build a brand, which I want to share with you, that massively helped our growth as an organization. In the last 16 months, as you can see from my YouTube analytics here, what we were able to do was able to capture over 3.9 million views on YouTube and over 27,000 subscribers, which led to, check this out, 4,820 people who applied to work with us here at Legacy Family Life. Basically, I learned how to acquire talent for free by board building an organic brand. But one last wrinkle for you. Before building this business, before I ever got started building this business, I sold over $550,000 of life insurance my first year as a life insurance agent. But I really wanted to be transparent, okay? We have paid hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in commissions to our agents. We have paid hundreds and hundreds of thousands on lead generation and marketing. And we have spent more money on technology and resources to build this business. So to be clear, that is top line 2.1 million, not profit. But month after month, from day one to day to now, we have always found a way to build a profitable business each and every month. Hashtag started from the bottom, now we're here. Now why is that such a big deal? Because 25% of businesses fail in their first year because they can't produce profit. And again, we didn't make $2.1 million, but we were profitable. Also, I couldn't have done this without my business partner. He's way smarter than me, and he is the genius behind this all. His name is Micah Metcalf. So here's my attempt at documenting our journey. First, let's go back to the first few months. We had one employee that we just hired and we had no idea what we were doing. This was all just an idea. We had no idea how to scale advertising. We had no idea how to find talent. We had no idea how to hold people accountable. We were just a bunch of jabronis. So if you feel like you're in this phase, this will help you. Just trying to figure this thing out and just find a way. Through our six to seven day work weeks, this is what we have been able to accomplish together. So I wanna share with you guys how we did it, okay? First thing that we focused on, I think it's crucial for our success, was finding the right product the right people, and finding the right system, which I want to break down for you, and a system that prints money and opportunities for other people. Our mission is to feed families by helping others, doing this ethically. The insurance business is plagued by unethical behaviors and sales tactics, and we want to build a business that helps people, provides value to others, and we do this ethically. And I want to teach you how to build an insurance business right now in the next 12 months, with less of the scars and the pain that we had to go through. Let's just give it to you because entrepreneurship is like a crazy ex. Some days are amazing and some days you question, why the heck are you even doing this? So let's start right here at what it takes. Selling insurance can be very, very difficult. The question that plagued me at first was, what do I even sell to these people? I can sell auto insurance. I can sell life insurance. I can sell term insurance. I can sell home insurance. What is the best? My answer, the product that you believe you can sell to your family. The product that you can represent that you would be proud to sell to your family is the product that you can that you can go ahead and build with. But before that, I knew in order to get here, I needed to make this business work for myself before I ever felt I had the right to teach someone. Okay. Wait, wait, what are you saying, Peter? Well, I needed to learn how to make money first before I ever taught something, taught this to someone else. Yes, that is correct. I wanted to learn how to make this work before I could recruit, hire, build talent, build this business or an idea before I ever hired someone else. Side note, this is why the life insurance and insurance industry 
is a joke because most people haven't done the shit that they talk about. Okay. Let's be honest. Everyone is up there recruiting, talking about the, you know, the life that they have, but they actually haven't done it. So I wanted to be different. And this is why, again, I sold over $500,000 on my own pen my first year as a life insurance owner, life insurance you know, agent, before I ever started about, thought about building a business. I bought leads from the vendors like everyone else. I tried selling term insurance. I tried selling index universal life, whole life insurance. I was throwing anything I could at the wall to see what stuck. But finally, after losing $20,000 my first two months as an insurance agent on my own, I found one product that worked. Let's be clear. One product that worked. It's called final expense insurance. What is that? It's burial insurance. So 12 months before this business was ever an idea or thought of, I became obsessed with just one product. So I learned how to craft the best script for that one product. This took over 26 revisions. I learned how to overcome objections for this one product. This took countless hangups. I learned how to call people over the phone and sell them for this one product. At the comfort of my home, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I learned how to find a CRM system to filter my leads. I used a platform that was called Ringy. And after months and months and months of hard work, boom. And seven days a week for over 200 days. Those small 1% improvements that I was making each and every day are the days that help build this business so quickly. The reason why I can say I built a multi-million dollar business in 60 months is because of the work when no one saw I was doing. The work that was quote unquote not profitable before began to finally pay off when I had this business idea and I met my business partner. But how did this help you in the last 16 months Grow a business to over 2.1 million in sales. Can you can you can you walk me through that? Well, the first and foremost is I found one product and I knew that I had market fit. I didn't think about what else I could sell. I tailored everything that I did, from marketing to sales to funnels, all around one product, and that saved me so much time, so much effort. And I learned I need to master just one product and make that product work. I had made hundreds of thousands of phone calls. There it is. I have made hundreds of sales by myself and we developed a sales system that was now ding, 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 duplicatable. Now, all we needed was the people to do the same. So we had this great idea, me and my business partner. February of 2022, we hired our first employee. We thought our business was going to change and man, we thought it was going to be so easy. I've done this so many times. I've made the sales. I know what I'm doing. Anybody can do this right? Anybody can do exactly what I'm doing, right? Well, after having no idea how to hire one, we realized that we made a mistake. The first hire did not work out. And even worse, for the next two months, we were back at square one, literally in limbo mode, in paralysis mode at square one, knowing no idea what our next move was. And we felt paralyzed to make a, to make a next move. We wanted to try lead generation. We wanted to try all these other business ideas. We wanted to go away from our mission because it got a little bit hard. And we felt paralyzed. Now, looking back, the reason it didn't work out was because of this. We didn't have the right systems in place to hire the right people. So I'm going to teach you how to hire the right people to build your business. I'm also going to teach you how to train people. We didn't have the right systems to train people. We were throwing people into systems that were broken because we didn't know how to train them. That is, mist- that is a mistake of me, the entrepreneur. And we didn't know how to hold people accountable. So let me share with you how we got through those two really painful months with no employees. And we had no leverage to scale the production. I began my hunt for the right people. I knew to build the right business, to make this where we wanted to go, we had to find the right people. I kept on hearing, they all say it's all about people. And that started to click off from that first experience of hiring a bad bad hire. Now what saved me was my YouTube channel. You know, you know, remember how I told you I learned how to do this all on my own pen, how I did this all myself. I was actually documenting my sales journey on YouTube way before I even had this business. So after nearly 700,000 organic views, I had this brilliant idea. Let's put an application link in the video descriptions. So right below on the bottom here, you can see I copied a, like basically a way that I can get people who watch who are probably life insurance agents and they can click on this video They can go in the description, they can click on this little link and they can actually apply to work with us. And boom, the applications began to flood in for free. 
people were raising their hand and saying, hire me, I need help. And in that moment, I learned how to generate what's called talent leads. And I treat this just like the final expense sales process. I learned how to sell, I learned how to close. And I wanna go ahead and use that here. I learned the skill of nurturing the leads when they applied online. So when they come in, I would nurture them, text them, and then I'd close them on an interview. I'd call them, get them on an interview, and then I sold them the opportunity. And boom, I learned right in that moment, in the last 12 months, how to hire the right people. Well, I don't know if it's right, but ultimately acquiring talent at zero cost. I'll elaborate. The next challenge that started was I need to learn how to identify who is a winner. And for many, many run months, I picked the wrong people. I was picking duds instead of studs. You like that? This slowed the growth down massively. Okay. This was a huge mistake that I made, but it's crazy what hiring a stud can do for a business. Here's why they require less training. They've had previous success and they get shit done. I mean, they get it done. For months, I realized I was hiring the wrong people. I realized I had no way to score people or to test people. You might ask, what does that mean? I had no way to analyze if someone was good or bad. Prior to working with us, I was hiring based on feelings and not facts. I would strike gold here and there, but most of the time, it would come back to bite me. And then after hiring our first absolute stud, things began to change. My eyes began to open. All the ignorant tax that we paid were all solved from one amazing hire. Even better, we were able to change our employee's life who we did hire, and this gave me confidence as a leader to move forward and our business model, our business idea that we once created, which what allowed us to create leverage, actually worked, which is absolutely insane. This idea was to hire someone, to pay someone, and to train someone to do what I used to always do actually worked. What the heck? And this was a very beautiful moment in our business. And as a new business owner who has always had the mentality of the GSD was to always get shit done mentality, the me, I can handle it mentality. Now we just have to do this again. I realize it is not no longer me. It's about who we bring on and who we hire. Now it's time that we can do this again. Basically, I found talent, learned how to groom talent, and then I turned them into a revenue producing asset. Because, But you might ask, how? By implementing an automated trading program. Super crucial. Automating a detailed training program to get someone from A to Z and to get as skilled as fast as possible. I coach them da daily, one-on-one, -on -one, each agent. I trained on tonality, how to say the right things, when and when, when and where to say the right things, how to have inflections in your voice when you're selling, how to dial, how to objection handle, how to message leads. Everything that I learned about selling hundreds of policies, remember how I did it before? I gave it to them what I learned. Remember, I did the same work I expected my team to do. I had a track record. I just gave it to my team to do it. Now, I found the best training was live call reviews, reviewing game time footage, and daily huddles with agents. This created the fastest results. And now, going from hiring the wrong person to bringing on the wrong talent, not knowing how to train the right talent, not knowing how to onboard the right talent, not knowing how to acquire the right talent, not knowing how to find the right talent, not even know how to close the right talent. Now our team, what we learned, sells over $300,000 in premium each month. We've grown so much. Now the next position of growth was scaling our client acquisition channel. Initially, I was getting you know, maybe 100 leads a day, you know, a, a day for us, a small team. Now I needed to scale that as our team grew to over 500 leads per day. How in the heck are we gonna do that? But here's the best part. As we're learning how to grow and as we're scaling and as we're learning how to do things right, people are watching us and people began to see our ads. Agents began to leave, they eventually even competed against us and they even impacted our marketing and our marketing systems changed. This was not fun. Me and my business partner, Micah, this was not fun. Without a consistent supply of new leads, we would've been stuck. But here's our acquisition channel and how our system works. We learned how to generate, or my business partner, Micah, expert at this, generate leads on social media. Using ad concepts similar to this, basically get life insurance today with a quote, get free quote. When they'd fill out the information, we would get information like their first name, their cell phone number, their address, and their state. 
Then these leads would get placed into our CRM, which we use Go High Level, which he built out, which we would then send out automated messages, drip campaigns, and then we would set appointments, or even better, always go for the one call close. We would want to close people on the phone. So I trained our team to sell at home and close deals in less than 60 minutes. They could sit at home and they can close deals in 60 minutes. Though we have sucked to one system, the one system that helped us always consistently acquire clients was an outbound system. Check the theme. One product, one marketing channel, and one acquisition channel. We learned how to generate leads at one place. We learned how to market towards one demographic, and we learned how to acquire them by only calling them through an outbound system and strategy. Making hundreds of dials every single day and selling life insurance over the phone, this is what our team does, and this is what I did. Yes, it's hard work, but it works. Now, we could have gone and done what everyone else does. They try all these different lead channels, all these different acquisition channels, inbound, outbound, referral partners, but we stuck to one. We found one way to profitably acquire clients using lead generation on social media, turning them into a lead form, and closing them, which focus on having a two-to-one CAC to LTV rate. And then we learned to build a lead nurturing system to turn strangers who fill out a random form into sales consistently, day after day, and it almost felt like we were printing money. And then we continued to add people through our hiring process that we developed earlier through the training, the automation, and the continual lead flow that was generated through YouTube. And as they came on, we increased our marketing and budgets. We also built a customer service or success team to fulfill the products and to ensure that our clients don't cancel. In the meantime, in the 60 months, we wanted to reduce chargebacks, which is an absolute you know, huge risk in the insurance business to basically it ruins many insurance businesses. We wanted to reduce the chargebacks and we attack this business every single day with blunt force. This was nothing sexy. This was just work over the last 16 months. Doing the same boring work each and every day to get to where we are today. Nothing fun. Nothing new. Doing the boring work every single day and getting better every single day. It's not been smooth sailing or pretty, but it's part of the game. And the game that we're willing to wake up and do every single day. And I wanted to make this to let you know I am nothing without my team. And God. My mission is to continue to document this journey. To help you on your journey. And ultimately help you provide a better opportunity for your family. We are Legacy Family Life. And this is exactly how me and my business partner have been able to build a over $2.1 million business in the last 16 months through this life insurance industry, and I hope this video helps you.